The homeless veteran is a familiar media archetype. Is this the face of a serious epidemic or just a tired cliche? The number of homeless veterans in America has dropped more than 75% in the last decade. But there are still about 16,000 veterans living on the street and 31,000 more in shelters. And veterans are 40% more likely to experience homelessness than the average American. The problem is mostly concentrated among older veterans who served in Vietnam and other past conflicts. Less than 9% served after 9-11. In fact, younger veterans are less likely to be homeless than their civilian peers. Does that mean the link between veterans and homelessness is becoming a thing of the past? It's true that there are better supports for veterans today than there were during the Vietnam era. But experts warn that homelessness could still spike among Gulf era veterans. Many young vets move in with family or friends when they return from duty. Over time, those who don't find civilian jobs will exhaust their financial and social reserves. It took 10 years for Vietnam vets to begin showing up on the streets in large numbers. By then, the media and the public had mostly forgotten their war and moved on. What will the homeless veteran population look like in 2025? And what are we prepared to do about it?